fact, they're coming, uh, immigrating uh, from, from, uh, to the U.S. now. And on top of the, this, these idiots come in here and take whatever they want. They go up in the store and says, three after they're coming, uh, immigrating uh, from, from, uh, to the U.S. from Afghanistan in 1987. SFPD told Fox News that officers arrived at the scene at 2.44 a.m. and observed the window to the business shattered and items from the wow. business strewn about the scene. According to Zayn, the city is seeing a mass exodus of both people and businesses due to its increased criminal nature. Mm -hmm, the criminality. Zayn license to the next owner to close up shop. Wow. The city has gone downhill, especially the last two years since COVID. I have never seen it worse. People are afraid to come shopping here because yes. they're either going to get robbed or someone will break into their car. Yes. Yep. Yep. That's real issue. You go to SF. They're going to smash the back window of your car. They're, they're going to yeah, steal your money. It's what they do. They do it all the time. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. So we might have to shut it down, he says. Our safety is more important than making a living in this city. Yeah. And, and they just had that uh, that commercial where it's like, come to San Francisco. Oh, please don't. Zade closing down the tobacco shop would add to the growing list of businesses in SF that have decided to permanently shutter their doors due to the city's vast increase in crime. Rampant retail theft, open-air drug use, violent attacks carried out by homeless vagrants, and loss of foot traffic. In recent months, Nordstrom, Whole Foods, T-Mobile, Walgreens, Saks, and Old Navy have all announced their departures from the once beloved city. Wow. You know what else? That makes happen important. The same thing. Now, you can't come to me and say, oh, it's a coincidence. Because when we come out, we say, hey, you realize Democrat colleagues are doing this. Testable Democrats stuff, Democrats come back and say, there's hard crime in West Virginia. Softness too. does not benefit anybody, bro. Softness is detrimental to everybody, bro.